all right hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another episode 3.1 video in this one uh, i am going to show you how to make an uh, fsa3 hood fix mod with the new optiscalar uh, releases uh, by nitec on github so yeah i have seen many people asking that uh, will this mod work on this game or that game uh, so yeah you will need to make this kind of mod and try it on various kind of game uh, for now it works on horizon zero dawn this vanisher ghost of new eden uh, silent hill 2 and some other games uh, maybe i'll uh, put a list in the description but uh, for now uh, i will show you how to make uh, this mod with optiscalar and dlss by mixing and renaming some files so this video is going to be divided into two parts mainly uh, one is about making the mods and the second one is testing the mod in game like how you can control and change up scalar and everything uh, so yeah let's start this video without any delay now you will be needing these two files uh, one is optiscalar uh, 0.70 uh, and preview uh, 12 sorry not 12 preview 20 21 23 uh, these three versions are compatible with the hood fix so yeah uh, i'm using the preview 23 uh, 21 and 22 are less compatible with some games 23 is more latest and it is more compatible with uh, some more games so yeah you get the idea and you will be needing this uh, nvidia dlss any dlss will do for suppose i'm using the dlss 3.7 uh also i'm going to show you like how you can see in-game dlss and what is hacks uh some people uh report in the comment section that they don't know uh, how to activate hacks and everything so you will need to go to the search bar of your windows and you will need to search graphics or gpu and you will see this option graphics settings so you need to go inside this graphic setting and you will see this called hardware accelerated gpu scaling which stands for H A G S, the full form of H A G S hacks. So you will need to turn this on in order to uh, see the DLSS and uh, turn on the frame generation in game. Uh, so if you have not activated it, you need to activate this first. After that, you can see variable refresh rate. That is just for uh, G sync and free sync. You can enable it if your system supports. And also one more thing, I have seen users saying that they cannot change the integrated graphics uh, in game, uh, like. For suppose they have an apu and a gpu the the game is using the apu only and they cannot use the gpu so in the case uh, you will need to select uh, the desktop app from here after that you will need to click browse and you will need to select the game's exe file for suppose i'm adding the vanisher game so which is here vanisher ghost of new eden nwd binaries win64 and in here uh, we will see the dot uh, exe file so we need to select this click on add and after adding the game we will need to click on option and click here on the high performance uh, by the power saving you will be able to select the low power consumption gpu like the apus uh, inbuilt gpu and by the high performance you will be able to set the dedicated gpu on work so yeah click on save and by this method you will be able to use the dedicated gpu so yeah i hope everything is uh, clear now and one more thing you will need to run the signature override uh, enable signature override uh, i will show you that in a second but first let me make the mod so we're going to extract optiscalar in a folder and dlss in a folder and you can see i have already made this uh, empty folder which is manager fsr 3v2 code fix all gpu so i'm going to make this mod live in front of you so first of all you will need to open this uh, optiscalar extracted folder and in here you will see these files so all you need to do right now you will find the nvgx.dll so you need to select it and right click then go to rename and delete the nvgx and rename it to dxgi dxgi.dll now be careful if your game's installation path already have a dxgi.dll you will need to delete that dxgi dll in order to paste this so yeah after renaming this nvgx.dll to dxgi we will need to extract the uh, dlss file so i have already extracted it here dlss so we will need to select this one too and go to the rename and rename it to only nvgx.dll like delete the dlss and this underscore hyphen uh, this one 
so we will rename it as just nvgx.dll and we will move it or copy it to this folder this optiscalar we just extracted and we just uh, working previously here so this is the mod uh, already done now what we gonna do is go in, in the dlss override folder and we will see this enable signature override and disable so we will need to run enable signature override uh, if you are doing this mod for the first time now everything is done all we need to do is copy this uh, mod and we will paste it in the uh, what do you say the mods folder which is banisher fsr2 uh, hotfix so this is how i make mod now i just add it to the zip and i just upload it and just uh, say that this is the mod so this is the whole process of making the mods i hope you guys understand now we will paste this mod and see how it runs in game so yeah let's copy this file now gonna go in the installation directory of ghost of new eden which is here uh, nwd binaries win64 and in here we're going to paste the mod now it will tell me to replace because i have already pasted this files so replace it and now we're gonna run the game but make sure that uh, you have uh, double click on the enable signature override uh, before running the game for one time it will you will need to do this one time not every time you run the game so yeah we're going to run the game now and once i go inside i will show you how to activate the frame generation and hood fix and change the upscaler and everything star wars outlaws offline activation is starting at just 400 indian rupees wukong at just 350 rupees along with all the new and old games and windows 10 and 11 serial key the stock is limited so hurry all right uh, we are inside the game now and uh, fps is uh, you can see hovering around 50 and 60 in this area so in order to make the optiscalar work uh, you will need to set the game subscalar to dlss but let me hide the msi after banner overlay first uh, so you need to go to video and in here if you have done everything correctly you should be able to use the dlss even in non rtx and gtx and amd gpu so we're going to set the dlss click on apply you can set quality balance to whichever you want now we come back inside the game wait uh, we come back inside the game and we press ins or insert key i have seen people asking thousand and thousand times in the comment section how do you bring up this blue menu it's literally on your keyboard just press ins or insert key if you cannot find ins or insert key just leave the modding community uh, so after opening this you will see this kind of ui now you can uh, select xcss or fsr 3.1 if you have a non rtx uh, gpu but you have a, if you have an rtx gpu you can just select the dlss so for this test i will use the xcss because xcss is supported on all gpus and uh, it is good also so i'm going to select the xcss and click the frame generation and click on apply and now uh, if i hide this overlay you can see my fps has uh, boosted from 50 to 115 110 to 115 but you can see this hood is flickering at the top left corner in this area you can see the hood is flickering uh, in the bottom corner also so to fix that we will need to press the insert key again and select this fg hood fix and click the ins button to hide this overlay again and now you can see that uh, the hood has been totally fixed uh, also this is real frames this is not any kind of fake frames some people uh, suggest that this is fake frames mm, the frame is not really generated is showing fake fps but no uh, with this optiscalar new updates these frames are totally real you can feel the smoothness here so you can see a little bit uh, flickering still there uh, you can try different uh, fg hood fix limits like uh, this will be by default set in one you can set it to two also and test if this is working or not so yeah i think two is working a little bit better than one uh, so yeah you can try this one two or you can even select the extended option but sometimes this extended option will cause you to slow down the game like uh, lag feel laggish and might even cause some crash so yeah do use it test it trial and error and see which one works for you so for me i think two option limit to this one uh, is working very fine i don't need the extended option this is working fine even before the extended option is ticked so yeah right now this is working perfectly so i have told you everything about uh, this uh, guide how to make this mod how to paste and make everything work i uh, hope this video will help you so if this video helps you subscribe to the channel i'm bringing new mods uh, with hoodfix every day and yeah 
i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers